a lot of y'all don't know about this next product that I'm about to show you and y'all are missing out and you're putting yourselves and your loved ones in danger by not knowing what this is. <laughs> from the setup to what I'm about to do with you guys today but I can explain so this week um, I live in Louisiana if y'all haven't figured it out by now and we were hit by two hurricanes um, at once this week so I was fortunate enough that my city did not get hit as bad but there are other cities that got hit really really bad so really quick we're gonna set up a quick prayer to the people who were affected by these two hurricanes especially Hurricane Laura because we were unsure about like how the hurricanes would really affect us our school just decided to cancel clinical, move our tests, and like basically just switch around our whole week, which means that I really didn't do much this week. I actually filmed an entire video, I vlogged this entire week, and I realized when I was editing it just now that I did absolutely nothing, and there's only so many times y'all can watch me sit there and talk at my desk. So I was like, okay, well what can I do for a video this week because I didn't do anything in school and that is my life. So someone who I appreciate very much gave me the idea that I can just show you guys all the random things I have been buying this month or since quarantine started. I don't really know when I got these things, but I just noticed that I just collected a whole bunch of random stuff and I'm not ashamed of it. So I decided to share with you guys all the random stuff that I've bought in the past few months. But if you can't see, because I purposely cut it out of the frame, I have a pile worth of crap that I've collected over the few months and I'm just going to grab stuff and show you guys. So let's start with like home goods. Not the store home goods, but stuff that I just got for the house. Some, so let's start with this stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually a new brand that I have discovered thanks to YouTube. And the brand's name is Confectionery Soap Co. Like company, Confectionery Soap Co. And they have so much stuff. So this is a candle. And what I really like about them is that most of their stuff is inspired by like Disney World, Disneyland, like Disney. So this candle is actually called Under the Sea, and no, it does not smell like salt water. It smells like a clean, fresh man. Like, I really don't know how else to explain. Like, it smells like a nice smelling man out the shower. So I'm obsessed with this. And it's such a pretty color. I've already like burned a hole in this, but it's a pretty, really blue. And I also got this huge bath bar. My mom calls it a rock, but it's a bath bubbler. And you may, it, and I'm pretty sure this is the, oh my God, y'all, it smells so good. But it's called Tiki, Tiki Bars and Tan Lines or something like that. Another Disney theme. And y'all, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe what this smells like besides like good. But it's so huge. So what I did, which you can probably tell, is I took a knife and I just cut off a little Slytherin, Slytherin, what is that? That's a Harry Potter thing. A slither of the bath bomb. I keep saying bath bomb, it's a bath bubbler. I cut off a piece of it and put it in the tub and it bubbled up like, like bubble bath and it smelled amazing, but it also still had like that bath bomb texture thing. So it made the water like blue and sparkly and bubbly and I just loved it. So, and then look how huge it is y'all. So I got these two from her. She's actually a really small brand. She is, um, she does everything hand, like everything is handmade. Like she does it all by herself in her house and she ships it all by herself. And they also have like other stuff with this company. Like they have bubble bath. They have, this is bubble bath. But they have like the liquid bubble bath. They have sugar scrubs. They have uh, like room sprays. They have shampoo, like all kinds of stuff. I just got with the simple stuff, but they have a lot of stuff there. Actually, since we're talking about candles, let's talk about the next candle I got. And it is the little version of the Bath & Body Works candles. It's the Aromatherapy Serenity. Um, the reason I got the little one instead of the big tri-wick one that everyone gets is because I'm cheap and this is the one that was on sale. And now that I think about it, now that I've been lighting it, I regret it because it's so small and I don't smell it, like, at all. So, yeah, I thought I was doing something by getting the cheap version of a nice candle, but, like, I, it that backfired. But it still smells good. Like, I can still smell it when I put my nose right on it so I definitely recommend the scent but if y'all gonna go go ahead and buy the candle just go ahead and buy the actual candle don't be like me and try to be cheap and play yourself candles but I feel like this is the perfect time to go ahead and throw this in here as well because a lot of y'all don't know about this next product that I'm about to show you and y'all are missing out and you're putting yourselves and your loved ones in danger by not knowing what this is so these are wick trimmers okay 
Do y'all see this? Little doll scissors that are shaped funky to trim the wick of your candle. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, why the heck would I want to trim the wick of my candle? What I would say to you is because you're supposed to. I don't know where y'all were when we learned how to light candles, but you're supposed to trim the wick of your candle to one fourth of an inch every time you light it, including the first time. I know that's mind blowing to you guys, but it's because, first of all, if you think about it, if you have this huge candle or like this huge flame on a candle, that's a fire hazard. Like it can, it can catch to your curtains. It can put that nasty black soot on your wall. It just looks trifling. You got the wick hanging all gross. It's just nasty. Second, if you trim the wick close to the candle, it's gonna burn the wax, which is gonna create the smell, which means that your candle's working. Otherwise, you're just burning air and you're not even getting the candle. Like that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, yes, you're supposed to trim the wick of your candle and I used to just use scissors, but my mom is bougier than me. Surprise, surprise, that's even a thing. And she was, she had these little wood trimmers, and I was like, what the heck, I want some. So she got these for me. I actually did not buy these myself, but she got these for me, and I am obsessed with them. And the reason I really, really like them is because, like, I'm going to show you. This is a lot easier because this is a small candle, but it just goes right into the candle. But, like, imagine, like, you, you've seen my intention candles or my like, chopper candles. And those are like the long ones and you can't really get the scissors at the right angle to cut the wick down but then you got these problem solved i just saved a bunch of lives just now and so since we're talking about scents and bath and body works i'm going to show you guys the next thing i got and these are little body sprays from bath and body works so i know y'all probably like this is not that special why the heck did you get this and why are you showing this to me but they had a sale y'all they had a sale a couple weeks ago and it was like all these body sprays for five dollars a piece and y'all know these are usually like fifteen dollars now don't get me wrong like, i love my expensive perfume but like something about these just are so nice on like days where you're going to the hospital or like going somewhere you don't need to smell that great like i don't know i just love these things and i like to put them under my actual perfume which is kind of crazy but i like to do that i have this thing about me where i don't want any other female to smell exactly like me like that's just i've been like that since high school so I like to put on a different scented lotion or a scented body spray and then put on my perfume because that way if Becky had this body spray or my perfume, Becky won't smell like me, okay? Like she can have the same scent as me, but she won't smell exactly like me. So I just, something about that just makes me feel like, so I like to do that, which is why this is the one I always have. Like people literally associate this with me. And this is A Thousand Wishes. Uh, I am obsessed with this. This is probably like my, my all-time favorite scent that Bath & Body Works has ever come up with. And I feel like it's not too sweet. Like, you know how sometimes Bath & Body Works stuff just smells like too sweet, where it just smells like straight rubbing alcohol? Like, I don't have the problem with this one at all. I love this one. And then I also tried out, I did this online, so I couldn't smell any of these. I was just going on good faith from like the title of it. But I got Rose. And I'm actually not mad at this one. It's borderline too sweet, but like, it's borderline rubbing alcohol, but like, it's not bad. And it, it goes really well under like my other perfumes. And so I like this one. Clearly I've been using it a lot. But what I was mad about is that I got this one without the top. All of, both of these came with tops on and this one came without a top. So first, my first thought was Rona. But my second thought was like, how rude. Like I should have gotten at least $2 off for a missing top, but I'm just gonna let them slide, whatever. And then I got Sensual Amber, and I regret this completely. This stinks. I'm not going to lie. So I'm sorry if y'all like this one, but I hate this scent. But I'm going to use it because it was $5. So oh, speaking of perfumes, they get a subscription to Scentbird uh, a couple months ago. A lot of cheaper plans. I only get like one scent a month, but I am obsessed with it. So the first scent I got was Oula Rouge by... Christian Solano, y'all don't make me pronounce these brand names. I can't do this. I also have Poor Femme. And this one I just got this month, and it is Bright Crystal Versace. Um, so with Zimper, like I think y'all probably know this by now if you don't live under a rock. But basically, you just go online, you pick which fragrances you want, and they ship them to you every month. And it's just like a nice way to try out different designer perfumes without having to buy an entire bottle especially if you don't know if you're gonna like them or not 
so it's like a commitment way it's a commitment free way to just try scents but if you end up liking a scent you can go back on the website and you can get the entire bottle so um i really like all of these not gonna lie not obviously not enough to go buy the entire bottle but i've definitely put a dent in some of them and it comes with this cute little case i was misled so do not i want to warn you guys I was misled and I thought that you get a nice little case every single time you get a scent, but that is not true. If you want that to happen, you have to pay 10 extra dollars a month. And if y'all didn't know, by now, I'm cheap. So I didn't do that. So in order for me to use them all, I have to switch out the case every time. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, like it's pretty cool. It's a nice size thing. I keep it in my little travel bag thing that I've showed you guys before. And it's nice. So you know, sign up for Scentbird. I'm not sponsored, don't have a coupon code for you, but you know, maybe one day. Let the camera cool off or whatever, so if the zoom is a little off or the lighting's a little different than the last clip, then like, sorry. But anyway, so let's move on to something else now. Let's talk about, let's talk about books. Oh my God, let's be, let's, oh shoot, I just dropped a book. Oh my God, y'all. Talk about books, let's be, really good human for a second and let's talk about all the books that I have been reading or just recently purchased so first things first I got a little notebook here plain simple notebook nerd book <laughs> plain and simple notebook it says a nice little quote about new mindsets and stuff not that exciting but very cute black and rose gold y'all already know that's my thing so this it matches my stethoscope I already know so the first book that I got I was just going in order of when I got them. Let's do that. So one that I got is entitled, Stop Checking Your Likes, Shake Off the Need for Approval in Life. Wait. Stop Checking Your Likes, Shake Off the Need for Approval, and Live an Incredible Life. Okay. So this book is actually not about social media. This is actually has nothing to do with social media. But I thought it was pretty clever how they titled it. But it's basically about being able to trust yourself in the decisions that you're making with your life whether that's your career your school your children whatever it is going on just basically being able to make decisions for yourself and for your life without having to one like ask people what their opinion is like hey do you think i should do this or hey do you think i should do that or just trying to do things to please other people and i think it's a very very good book so far obviously i have not finished it i think i'm like 60 pages in I started this a while ago and then school got crazy because I started peds and I'm a terrible person. I haven't been able to finish it, but I really did like the first 60 pages. I'm going to pick this back up and start reading it again soon. But the pages that I did read were very insightful and I really liked that they had little like DM bubbles. Yeah, like they had little bubbles in it. It's like a book, but they had little bubbles in it called direct messages. So basically like pulls out the major point of each chapter. So it really does tell you how to live an incredible life. The author is Susie Moore. So definitely check this out, guys. I wish I finished it so I could tell you guys more about it. But it's a good read and it's an easy read. It goes by really quickly. The other one I got is The Untethered Soul, uh, The Dreams Beyond Yourself. And I have no idea what this book is about. But I know that a lot of people on YouTube have recommended this book to people who are trying to... Uh, find themselves find their purpose and really like work on their self-development it's another one of those self-help books that's really popular right now like i know most of y'all have probably seen this cover before my plan i actually bought these two on the same day i thought i was gonna read this one first and then read this one second second why can't i talk today i was gonna read this one first and then read this one after but like i said life so i can't really recommend this book to you guys yet but i can definitely say this one was pretty good uh, the other book that I've gotten is Chakra Healing, and this is like a little workbook, honestly. So don't get this book thinking it's about to be like an actual like book where you can sit, it's like pages full of information about the chakras and you're going to learn everything there is to know. This is definitely not like that. It's a beginner's guide to, it literally says, beginner's guide to self-healing techniques that balance your chakras. So the beginning of the book, the beginning of it kind of breaks down each chakra and tells you like what it does, how to balance it, um, where it is, what color associated with it, what element, affirmation, body parts, life lessons, dysfunctions, mental health issues. Basically just breaks down every single chakra and explains it to you and gives you an overview. The rest of the book goes ahead and talks about like how to balance them. So there's 
a section on how to use meditation, there's a section on how to use crystals, how to use light work, how to, a bunch of different things. So it out wow, look, I don't even have to make this up for you guys. It literally tells you in the back. So there's all types of stuff for it. But what I really liked about this book and why I actually bought it is because once it explains all of that to you, you know, a lot of people think that chakras and like sage and all this other stuff is like hippie voodoo stuff that's not real. And so what I really liked about this book is that if you were not a believer in it already, it connects it to all the different physical ailments that your body can have and how they're related to your chakras. So it talks about depression, it talks about high blood pressure, diabetes, and it breaks it down in a way where like, which is the science behind those feelings or those diseases, and it mentioned, and it talks about how those are related to your chakras and how you can, by aligning those chakras, you can help alleviate a lot of those symptoms. So I thought that was really cool because it spoke to like the hippie in me, but it spoke to also the nerd in me, so I really like it. Um, this Because this is not like a novel novel, I picked this up in spurts. I picked this up when I'm meditating for the purpose of aligning my chakras when I'm just trying to learn something about a disease like I picked this up as like a resource not necessarily a book book but you can do whatever you want but I really do like this book I high key recommend it and it was really cheap I think it was like ten dollars on Amazon so ten dollars to get your life together like you can't beat that the next book I got or the last book I'm going to show you guys is Shut Hell Up by Real Talk Kim now I don't even have to explain this book to you guys like y'all already know how I feel about Real Talk Kim, like she is literally the reason why I am so me right now. I absolutely love this woman. I wake up to her voice every day, I listen to her podcast every day, at least one episode every day. I listen, I go to her church on Sundays online and now I have her book. And I absolutely, I love this book. I haven't even read it yet, but I, I love it. And I just got this book like a couple days ago. So this is not like, I'm not just sitting on this. I'm going to read this probably right after my next test. But it basically just tells you how to shut hell up and get your life on track. You make choices from a place of confidence, not doubt, reject labels, and let God determine who you are. Refuse to be ruled by emotions and realize that God's plan is bigger than your past. Y'all, if y'all don't even, if y'all don't even buy this book, Go to her podcast on Spotify and scroll down. She has an episode called Shut Hell Up, and it's where she took like 35 of the golden nuggets in this book and just talked about it and just read it to you. That episode, Shut Hell Up, and then there's an episode that she has, and it's called Move In Your Mess. Those two changed my entire life. I'm not even kidding, you guys. If you do not listen to Real Talk Kim or follow her on Instagram or go to like, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? That means you're not doing anything. Y'all need to get on to her. And she is Christian based. So like if you're not a Christian person, then like I would not recommend her to you because she a lot of her practices and a lot of her teachings do involve God. So I just wanted to like make that as a disclaimer. If you're, so if you aren't like super religious or like, you know, super Christian and you want to get into how to use manifestation and law of attraction, chakras and things like that without like it being rooted in like Christianity or things like a religion then i also recommend the manifestation babe podcast now obviously this is not something i bought but this is something i've stumbled across uh the past few months and she is also a really good motivational speaker and she kind of breaks everything down from the spiritual side of things like how to manifest your life and the spiritual side so those two women manifestation babe and real talk kim are the reason why i am thriving right now so definitely look up those two so y'all probably see me drink out of like the metal straws a lot. My mother thought that like it was weird to drink cold drinks out of metal straws. I don't know what else you would drink out of a metal straw, but she got me these bamboo straws, which are actually very nice. I love these. I think these came from like, I don't know where she got these from. Probably TJ Maxx or Marshalls knowing her. But um, yeah, they're really nice and you save turtles if you use bamboo straws instead of plastic. So definitely get these. It came with a pack of, oh, I thought I put it up, but I didn't. It came with a pack of seven. So I love that. It actually says six straws and one cleaner, but I have no idea which one is the cleaner and which one is like a straw. So I've just been drinking out of all of them and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna end this video on a more of age note because this is exactly what I'm about to go do right now. There's this new store that opened up down the street from my house. It's called Total Wine. It's like a huge liquor department store. Y'all, it is beautiful. They have like 
every type of wine you can think of like separated in sections they have beers they have like nice craft beers they have liquor they have like a cigar bar in the back and it looks like when covid's over they're gonna have like an actual bar and seating area in there it is so nice and like their prices are really not that bad like first they have like the 500 dollar bottle of wine but they also have a lot of like cheap wines from like five to ten dollars so i went there right before the hurricane because i'm from louisiana y'all know how we deal with hurricanes we just drink them away so i went there to stock up on some hurricane wine i think i got four bottles that night but one of them is gone so i can't show you that one but i can show you the two and a half bottles that i have left so the half bottle that i have right now which i'm probably gonna drink tonight is zen of zen <laughs> And like you know, like Zen of like Zinfandel. So it is, first of all, such a little sexy name, sexy bottle. And this is a Zinfandel. I only drink red wine. My favorite red wine is Merlot's, but I wanted to try to get other types of wine since I was in there. It's actually really good. So I'm excited to go finish, not finish it, God, y'all. I'm not gonna finish this whole bottle of wine tonight. Like, come on now, why would I do that? But I'm gonna go definitely go back and put a nice little dent in this bad boy. And then I got another one that I, it was called Radius or something. That one was nasty, I'm not gonna lie. They had, they said that the Radius Merlot is really good, but they didn't have the Merlot. They only had like the Radius Zinfandel, but I already had that one. And then they had the Radius Blend. And I got the Blend because I figured like, why not? I learned why not, that was not good. Then I got, this is a Merlot. It's called Special, Special, Special Selection Merlot by Jean-Claude de Bourne. I don't know. I don't know why I bought this, but it, I bought it because it said Merlot and it was probably like $10. So that's why I got that. I bought this one and it's called Thousands of Thousand Lives and it's also a Merlot. I clearly bought this one for the label. Actually, I'm gonna stand up for this because you all need to see this label. Look how pretty this is. So yeah, and it was like $4. So I can't really give you a rating on these two bottles. But when I do, let's be real here, I'll probably be standing in my kitchen, drinking them, talking to you guys like I do every night. So I will let you guys know when it comes down to it. I feel like the only thing of value you guys really can take from this video are the books and the candles that I got. So what I got, so if you guys purchase any of the things that I've mentioned in this video, please comment down below, let me know, especially the books, y'all. I really want my channel to evolve into like a self-help type of channel. And I'm eventually gonna do that once I get the hang of it myself. But if y'all get any of the books or if y'all have any suggestions of books that I should get, comment down below. I really need to have some interaction on this page. And I hope that next week will be a lot more interesting with school so that we can talk about some nursey things, maybe another delivery, ooh, maybe a C-section or something. Hey, let's manifest that, y'all. We're gonna see a C-section next week. So that's all I have for y'all. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.